23-year-old Femi Nandap, who had a history of mental health problems and was known to police. Nandap has pleaded guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. But Dr Ensink's baby daughter will never know her father and may one day ask who was responsible for his death. If you look at it objectively, it's a huge decision to make to kill a king without absolute authority. It's a very, very dark but interesting mystery. People were saying, well, in, in effect, he murdered the king. You know, this is a very controversial subject these days. But then I think that the medical team certainly had more power than they would have today. Was it the right thing to do? It is not for us to judge. But would the king have survived? The answer is probably not. Would he have suffered? Undoubtedly, yes. Alyssa, look! Tonight, a violent moment inside a Texas classroom going viral. As a result, the community demanding answers after authorities say this substitute teacher was seen on video unleashing a vicious attack on this 16-year-old student, throwing a flurry of punches, then dragging the teen to the ground, finally stomping on her head. That teacher, 32-year-old Tiffany Lankford, now charged with aggravated assault. Chevron Station, this is on San Pablo Avenue. Then he hops over the counter and starts attacking the worker. He did try to open the cash register, but uh, it wouldn't budge. He ended up leaving the store empty-handed. The clerk had a bloody nose and lip. Police are still looking for the suspect.